hi smoothies welcome back to my channel um i'm so happy to have you all here today so today i'm gonna be doing um bohemian nutless bread so what i'm doing right now is that basically we're gonna be using two types of um air extension this that i'm doing right now is the regular braiding hair um so i'm just dishing it out on the extension rack extension rack is very helpful since i don't have anyone that will be passing the extension to me so um the second hair that we're going to be using for this style is this human hair human coily um, braiding hair it's very good i prefer to use the human hair because it doesn't get tangled you just need some kind of moisturizer to keep the curls going so basically we need to these two types of braiding hair the regular braiding hair extension and the human hair extension you can actually use free trace there are a lot of braiding hair extensions but this is human hair free trace hair and not human hair so that is um human hair so i'm gonna be starting i'm actually doing um small size um, not less bohemian braids so the size is the 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 cuts not like the braids the small size is not like the braid size is the cut the hair cut size so if that makes sense so um so first i i'm gonna be patting my hair and um it's basically like feeding braids if you know how to do feeding braids then it will be a little bit more easier for you to um, to get this um, knotless braids done is definitely very easy it's so easy you just need to pay attention and then probably watch it over and over again so um, I'm gonna be starting with a really tiny um, extension the first two extension that I'm gonna be feeding in is the small size as you can see right there so I did the first one and I'll be doing the second one and the regular size is, will be the next one. You see the difference? And another one. So usually I would I would just feed in three three um extensions. Just three is good. I don't do more than three. So and now I'm gonna be feeding him the curly hair i'm gonna be feeding in the curly hair just um pay attention to what i'm doing and you will definitely get it and um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and um just take your time and watch this video to the end then um if you like this video you can click on the like button and um probably save it or leave a comment if you have any question or whatsoever okay so at the end of the hair the braids i'm going to be feeding him the curly hair once again so i feed in the curly hair once again and then i tie it around and then i use this nail glue i got it from the beauty supply for a dollar so i'm going to be using it to just kind of um glue it together to make to create some kind of um stop to it so the hair doesn't unravel
So now I'm going to be um, feeding in the curly hair to the ends of the braids. Um, I would use two, two of the curly hair and feed it in and then tie it once or twice. And then use um, the nail glue to glue it together. Because with this type of braids, you can't dip it in hot water. I mean, if you, you can't actually dip it, but... Um, and the curls will still come out because it's human hair, like I said, but... You don't have to dip it in hot water. I mean, in fact, if you dip it in hot water, it's still going to unravel. So just use the glue to do it and then make sure that you cut the leftover braiding, the regular braiding extension out from the curls. You need to cut it out because the regular braiding hair gets tangled and the human hair doesn't get tangled. So if you don't cut it out, the braiding hair will get tangled and then kind of mixed with the human hair so you want to take your time like this is very very serious this is a big deal you have to cut it out you know so i always take my time to make sure that i cut it all out okay now um with not less box braids not less braids is very very important to make sure that your lines are clean and neatly cut the lines must be neatly like really really neat cut so um you will need some jam to kind of define the cuts so as you can see that I put jam and now I'm making sure that I'm cutting it like really, really clean because with not less braids, the lines and the cut are going to be very, very much visible. And that is one of the beauty in um, not less braids. The cut has to be really, really neat. You need to take your time and make sure the, the cut is neat and tell your clients to kind of make sure they wash their hair and conditioner it before they come for the appointments so that they can have a very clean scalp okay the, the scalp need to be very neat as you can see so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys and um i'm happy that you're here with me today um so bohemia not less braids basically is more like um is, is also not less braid but with just the curly hair the curly hair is the difference that that's exactly what makes it um bohemian so like i said earlier you want to use like um human hair you can tell your clients to you can just tell your client the difference between the human hair and free hair a lot of people use free hair yes but i just prefer to use um human hair and you can get this braiding human hair at any beauty supply it, it just it just work better for me you know it just work better and it kind of lasts it doesn't get tangled um i've used free hair for a client before she actually bought it by herself but this one i would get it and then you know just charge my client for the price but i had a client that she brought free hair and after a week it get really 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 tangled you know so you want to make sure that you explain that to your clients before um they make the appointment or probably after they make the appointment and also is important to use um nail glue at the ends of the braid okay 
just to create some kind of stop to the to the braids so now guys um i'm done with the braids um as you can see the cuts are very clean and are well defined plus our scalp is also very very clean so like i said earlier it's very important to make sure that you cut out the braiding hair the regular braiding hair extension one by one you don't want to leave any um any one left on the hair because it's just going to destroy the beauty of the curls you know so you want to trim your client's hair and then make sure that you cut it out like i'm doing right here now so um I'm cutting in how one after the other um you know because i know how important it is for me to, to, to just cut it out because if i do not cut it out it's going to get tangled and then mix with the human hair the coily human hair is, is expensive it's like 25 dollars for a bag and so we don't want to you know um risk not cutting the regular braiding extension out you know to differentiate it and um 
thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it. if you have any question um any question any complaints um you can drop a comment and also like i always said in all of my video i am really and very much open for correction you can drop a comment and correct me if i make any mistake or anything just drop a comment and then you know correct me so tada this hair is done and it's so pretty and um basically you don't really need much to maintain the curls you just need like the regular human hair mousse you know i got this from walmart you can get it at any beauty store i think it's about five dollar or thereabout so this is just to keep the curls you know defined and all of that so just that and then some oil spray you know see i i found one more that i needed to cut out and then i had to just cut it out so and another thing guys you need to always tell your client edges and what i also do is i ask my clients if they know how to style their edges most of them don't know how to style their edges and it's very important to at least know how to lay your edges down so um I mean it's very important to lay your client edges down after you don't braid in their hair you just don't want to leave their edges just like that and also try to show them i always try to show my clients and teach them how to lay their edges because it's very important also and this is one of the i mean this is the part of braiding that i really like edges you need to learn to style your client edges it's very important Thank you guys so very much um i hope you enjoy this video and if you do enjoy this video kindly um give this video a thumbs up i mean like this video you can share this video on your social media um thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you feel like okay <laughs> so please do subscribe to my channel and then click on the notification button so that you can get notified whenever I upload new video. Thank you so much. I remain your girl smooth. Signing out. Bye.